My tech guy Tim here. Uh, so today we are looking at a, a two i5 uh, Dell Optiplex 790s. Uh, I got two of these in for fifty dollars each, so hundred dollars total. Um, they both came with no hard drives, four gigs of RAM, and they do have the Windows 7 Pro sticker on them, which uh, in some of my past videos I've mentioned will license on these older machines to Windows 10 Pro. So we'll verify that that takes upgrade the one desktop, uh, one of the i5 Dell Optiplex 790s uh, with 8 gigs of RAM, hard drive, uh, SSD, hard drive. All right, let's jump into the B-roll. We'll show the two desktops that we have. Uh, they're identical, but I'll go ahead and show both of them. And then once the B-roll is done, we'll focus on the desktop that has the 8 gigs and the SSD and the hard drive, show the insides, um, and also show I had to do a BIOS password reset on both of them. So we'll go ahead and run through that as well. Once the BIOS passwords are cleared out, we'll go ahead and confirm that they are booting. Uh, we can load Windows 10 on the SSD, confirm that it's booting properly and even run the self uh, Dell diagnostics and do all that testing. password so now we're going to reboot this system do F12 and this will bring us into the boot menu so we will come back to here to run the diagnostics but for now let's go ahead and do the bio setup And right here, you can see the the unlock, and that's where it would that's where it prompts us to enter in the password, which we do not have. So in this case, I did message the person that I bought the computer from, but they didn't have the password either. So I did a quick Google search, and on these older systems, it's actually not too hard to uh, do the pa the BIOS password reset. So we're gonna go ahead and shut this system down and take a look at that. System is shut down, power is unplugged. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull everything else out as well, just to be cautious. All right, so everything's plugged out. I'll go ahead and do the power button for about 10 seconds or so to drain the power. And then just common practice of touching the metal to make sure you're discharged from any static so here it's kind of buried in there but you can see this blue indicator here so that blue on the pins there needs to come out in regards to reset the password and some of them do actually work by removing the CMOS battery but we're going to try this indi this blue indicator here with this on the pins here and see what we get so that just slides out really easily i mean you don't want to be too rough in case you might break the pins and that guy is out so that is what we just removed it even has a up on it to know which way you're going and then that is Pins there. So now that that is removed, I'm gonna go ahead and plug everything back in and power it on. Plug back in. Let's get this guy booted up. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do the F12. 
we should see a different screen here. Yep, so we'll get that Dell Secure Manager so it knows that that little blue indicator is now off of those pins. So that officially reset the password. And here we can just do F1 to continue, go down to the BIOS setup, and now we no longer have that lock. And if we go down to boot sequence, lock isn't there and we're able to change the boot sequence and everything. So that officially cleared out the password. I'm gonna go ahead and get that pin, the blue uh, reinstalled onto those two pins and boot this guy back up again. So everything is unplugged again. I'm gonna hit the power button just to drain, hold it in for 10 seconds to drain, just as a common practice, and make sure no electrical charge. So that guy is up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get him inserted here. Back up, I'm doing F12 for the boot menu. F1 to continue, so I no longer got that air message that it displayed. So let's go ahead and jump back into the BIOS and just confirm again, no more lock or unlock message displaying there. And now I can update the, make changes to the BIOS as needed. All right, so now that the BIOS reset is completed, I will make a note that when I inserted the blue um, connector piece onto the pins. Uh, it was actually only one pin that was on and not the other, so I had to reapply that because the error messages come back up, so I knew right away that that was not on correctly. So just make sure you insert that blue connector back on correctly. So the system came with everything, other, so not the two drives, just the two gigs of RAM, um, four in total. And I added in this Western Digital Drive this uh, case does not actually go in this system, but it's kind of a makeshift that just makes it tight enough so that it will work. And then I have the Kingston down underneath of it. So it actually works out pretty well. It fits in there and it's a desktop, so it's not like it should be moved a lot anyway. And then the SATA connectors are all going there. And over here is the DVD drive. So that is the system. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the t uh, two other gig sticks from the other 790, insert them in here, and then we'll go ahead and get this guy booting up to Windows 10. One that does not have any drives. I already actually did the BIOS password reset on this one, so this one is good with that. So all I need to do is just steal the RAM. And we'll go ahead and put this into the other system. So if you've never installed RAM before, you just line up that divot with the one down there. As long as it lines up, you know you have the right RAM. This is DDR3. And we know that we just pulled it from the other system, so there's no issues there. Hear the click. Hear the click. And then for this one, no, this one I gotta work around this the cable here, but overall shouldn't be an issue. Oh, if I put it in the right way, so flip that. I am going to be getting a camera holder here soon, so <laughs> some of this will be a lot easier with two hands, but for now, working with what I got. All right, so I hear all the clicks. We're gonna go ahead and load this guy up with Windows 10. 
and uh, confirm it boots, showing all the two hard drives and the eight gigs of RAM. The eight gigs of RAM, I have Windows 10 loaded to the SSD that is underneath the Western Digital spinning disk. So I am gonna go into the BIOS because Kingston is not first on the boot list. So let's go ahead and go into the BIOS. And again, we are able to change these settings because we reset that password and there's no lock at the bottom there. So I'm gonna move the Kingston all the way up. We're gonna take off the onboard NIC because we don't need that. I don't need the CD drive. <laughs> this mouse is sensitive. I don't need the CD drive. And I'll go ahead and leave USB for now. So we'll go ahead and apply that and exit. So now this should reboot and Kingston should be top of the list and we'll start booting into the Windows 10. All right, so I just made a generic account called admin like I always do. I did boot this up once already, so I have my Specky tool ready to go for us. And this just gives us the specs of the machine. So it has the Windows 10, the i5, the two drives, eight gigs of RAM in dual channel mode. So it's the 2468. Uh, DDR3, so everything is looking good. All right, so the only thing left is I'm gonna go ahead and clean out these guys. Uh, just use my shot vac, blow out so many dust um, that might be in them. And then from there, we'll get these guys posted up and and see, uh, see when they sell. All right, I got my shot back and I'm gonna blow out the computer with any dust and then switch it over to the other side and try to suck out anything that, that might be left in it. So not much to show here, but just showing you the process. All right, now I'm booted back up to the boot screen and I'm gonna kick off the uh, diagnostics uh, and just let that run. Make sure everything looks good. Um, since the hard drives and all the RAM and the system has all the hardware it needs. We'll let the diagnostic run and just make sure everything passes. Diagnostic test finished. Uh, the hard drive one did have an uh, error message, but when I reran it, everything came back. All tests passed, so that was great. Uh, so the system looks good. It's cleaned out. We're going to boot back into Windows 10. Just verify everything looks good on the Windows 10 side and then start uh, getting this guy posted up uh, to sell to what kind of profit we can make. The two systems have sold. Uh, we sold the one system for $120 and that had the uh, four sticks, uh, two gigs each, so eight gigs of RAM total. Uh, which we moved from the one 790 to the other. Uh, so as you can see on the left in, uh, on Craigslist. That one, uh, they both took about a month. Uh, the one sold on Craigslist and then someone actually messaged me on OfferUp and I just told them um, I already sold this system but I have an identical one um, that I can, I can sell you as well. And at the time, that one didn't have any RAM, but I had a 4 gig stick laying around. So I ended up throwing the 4 gig sticks in and then did the same setup. And I sold that one for $110, so $10 cheaper. Uh, so the one from Craigslist had the uh, 8 gigs of RAM, 120 SSD, and a 500 hard drive. Um, and the one on the right for, through OfferUp. Uh, I sold for 110 with 4 gigs of RAM, 120 SSD, and a terabyte hard drive. Um, so they, they, they were pushing for a terabyte drive. I had one that I didn't need um, and I didn't even pay for <laughs> that I had gotten from in the past. So I was fine with, with uh, letting that, that go. Uh, so I'm going to post up uh, a little message uh, here below me. Um, as to kind of the profits, uh, so the 120, so both of these were purchased with uh, $50, $50 each uh, with just the RAM. Um, so 
I did add in RAM and then I also added in the SSD and the hard drives all used so I didn't buy anything new and all of this I already had um, from past um, old e-waste uh, from other clients and, and just old e-waste that I've picked up over the time. Uh, so $70 and $60 is, is still a pretty decent profit. Um, with adding in the hard drive and the SSDs and the other 4 gig of RAM, not the greatest, but still still a decent um, profit to, to double your money out of the $50 spent. Any questions in regards to selling the 7 uh, Optiplex 790 or even doing the BIOS password reset? Um, definitely let me know. Uh, the BIOS password reset was actually a lot easier than I expected. A lot of these newer computers it's not quite as easy these days, uh, but the older ones do make it. And of course, the Windows 7 Pro key stickers worked with licensing Windows 10. So that's always a, a plus for saving uh, saving some money with not having to buy that license for Windows 10. I have another 790 that I just got as well. So I will be um, selling that one. Then I also got a um, Theplex 7010, 7010. Uh, and that one actually has a graph, some kind of graphics card in it, and it also has 8 gigs of RAM already. So that one I'm pretty excited for, uh, fixing that up, testing it out, and that might be um, on the level of a, of a kind of light gaming computer with the i5, and then potentially upgrading it to 16 gigs of RAM. So we'll be uh, fixing that guy up, um, as well as the 790, and we'll see if we can uh, make, a, make a profit. Both those were also paid uh, fifty dollars each, so I feel like I got a good deal on the seven seventy ten, and we'll see if we can upgrade that one and uh, and make a make a good profit off of that. Thanks for watching. Comment, like. See you next time, my tech guy Tim.